नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श सु वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसाइटी हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज सेवेंथ पार्ट ऑफ फोर्टीन चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रिक करंट एंड इट्स इफेक्ट्स इन द लास्ट पार्ट वी डिस्कस अबाउट द फ्यूज द टाइप ऑफ मटेरियल्स यूज्ड इन इन फ्यूज एंड सो दैट कैन वी कैन यूज दैट फ्यूज एज अ सेफ्टी डिवाइस व्हाई बिकॉज if the current exceeds to its safe limit then what happens the material that wire used in the fuse may will blow off and the circuit will get break and hence uh, we can say fuses are safety device for us okay and there we discuss about two fuse actually uh, you can see in the figure also there are two fuse two type of fuse are there one of them is fuse used in buildings and another one is fuse is used in uh, electrical uh, appliances uh, that would be discussed in the last part now let's discuss on the page number 166 there is a question let's go let's think let's discuss that never try to investigate an electric fuse connected to a uh, main circuit on your own so you have seen there is a fuse if and if, if on the entrance of your home there might be you can see a fuse then do not try to investigate that electric fuse with your own do not touch that hmm? you may however visit an electric repair also a repair shop and compare the one of uh, out the fuses with the new ones new ones okay you can go to electric repair shop there you can do but do not touch that fuses available in the circuit of at your home and then then let's discuss that next box available there one reason for excessive current in electric circuit is the direct touching of wires so this is the main reason generally what the reason for excessive current in electrical circuits is the direct touching of wires now that wires how get direct touch how is it does it happens let's see this may happens if the insulation of the wire has come off due to wear and tear the insulation of the wire uh, breaks or insulation of the wires has come off come off due to wear and tear this may cause a short circuit another reason for excessive current can be the connection of many devices to a single socket the connection of many devices to a single socket this may cause overload in circuit if we use single socket and give uh, connects many uh, many devices to a single socket then what happens this may cause overload in the circuit you might have read reports in newspapers about fires caused by short circuit and overloads okay now uh, let's discuss Uh, regarding that MCB on the page number one hundred and sixty-seven, see, these days miniature electric uh, circuit breakers, miniature circuit breakers. That is a full form, and the short form is MCB, MCBs. So remember that miniature circuit breakers, MCBs, are increasingly being used. in place of fuses everywhere in the new building especially you will find they use mcbs only instead of fuse these are these are switches which automatically turn off when current in a circuit exceeds the safe limit see in fuse what happens that uh, wire used in the fuse get melts and automatically the circuit will break 
but in this type of switches mcbs what happens when the uh, electric current exceeds to its safe limit hai na then what happens automatically turn it turn off the switches are get automatically turn off now if we use the fuse then what will happen the part that wire will get break once again we have to join that wire we have to use another wire we have to join that and once again we have to start here what will happen the switch will switch off the mcb will get off and once again we can start that we do not have to change the wire and that is why that is the main purpose of using that mcb is uh, once again let's read this these are switches which automatically turn off when current in a circuit exceeds its safe limit you turn them on and the circuit is once again complete you need not to change the wire like fuse look for isi mark on mcbs also uh, let me show you this mcb it is a switch like device the mcbs are a switch like device and here you can see isi mark also isi mark it is a switch like device hmm? okay let's go further and there is a question always you use proper fuses which have been specified for particular applications this is very important always use proper fuses which have been specified for particular application applications carrying isi mark whenever you go for any uh, that uh, purchase any fuse any electric appliances then uh, go watch that uh, that application uh, carrying isi mark uh, means see that whether there is isi mark is there or not never use just any wire or strip of metal in place of fuse many people used to do so they use any other wire as a fuse then if what happens if the accidentally the power uh, gets uh, current gets exceeds then it's a safe limit also then that wire we used as fuse will not get melt and the appliances used on home like freeze and everything may get damaged Hmm? that is why we should use proper fuses okay now let's go for the next point on the page number 167 magnetic effect of electric current so let me read that previous paragraph to this point that we observe the heating effect of the electric current and learned how we use it to our advantages does the electric current have other effect also ha na if it a heating effect is there but any other effect is also there to the electric current let's try to understand that magnetic effect of electric current for that there is an activity activity 14.5 or fifth activity and the m is to observe magnetic effect of electric current take a uh, cardboard tray and inside a discarded match box we have to take that cardboard tray which is inside the match box so discard take discarded match box and take out that cardboard tray wrap an electric wire a few times around the cardboard you can see in the figure 14.17 uh, a few times around the cardboard tray place a small compass needle inside it now connect the needle a free sorry connect the free ends of this wire to an electric cell through a switch as shown in figure Uh, let me show you this figure also. Suppose let me draw that 
cardboard see this is a cardboard suppose okay suppose this is a cardboard this is a cardboard in which there is a needle suppose this is a needle this is a needle and then let me wrap three to four times this is a wire huh? this is a wire okay then let me take this wire to the battery okay then there is a switch this is a switch and whether the power is there or not to check that we use this lamp okay so that when we uh, switch on this this lamp will glow so that we could come to know now the current is passing through this all of this so let me once again uh, take a cardboard tray from uh, from inside a discarded mesh box wrap the electric wire a few times around the cardboard tray okay, you can see that place a small compass uh, needle inside it now connect the free ends of this wire to an electric cell electric cell through a switch as shown in the figure now see this is the procedure now what to do let's discuss about the procedure note the direction in which the compass needle is pointing first of all suppose note the direction of the compass needle whatever it is note it then uh, bring a bar magnet near the compass needle we know about the compass needle we know the bar magnet right? so what what we do oh, bring near bring uh, a bar magnet near the compass needle observe that observe what happens now while watching the compass needle carefully move on the move the switch or to the on position what do you observe does the compass needle deflect move the switch back to the off position does the compass needle come back to its initial position repeat this ex experiment a few time what does this ex experiment indicate okay we know that the needle of compass is a tiny magnet which points in north to south direction that we know so what we bring this uh, uh, bar magnet near the needle it will the direction of the needle will get deflect at the same time if we, if we switch on there once again it will get deflect because of the current so for that the observation compass needle shows deflection from its original position where a bar magnet is brought near it then when the switch is turned on the compass needle changes its direction once again and points in the other direction so what is the conclusion first of all conclusion is that the deflection of the compass needle shows that the current carrying wire uh behaves like a magnet the current carrying wire behaves like a magnet why because there is a deflection of compass needle that is why we can say okay uh, look into the textbook repeat the experiment a few times what does the experiment in indicate we know that the needle of a compass is a tiny magnet which points in north south direction that is also we know when we bring a magnet close to it the needle gets deflected that what we discussed we have also seen that compass needle gets deflected when the current flows in the 
in a nearby wire can you connect the two observations when the current flows through a wire does the wire behave like a magnet yes we can say the wire when the current passes passes through the wire that wire behaves like a magnet okay with this let let's end this uh, part and we will discuss something more electromagnetic effect we will discuss that in the next part by this time we are ending this part thank you thank you for joining us take care of yourselves and we'll meet you in the next session thank you